Suppression water system is being armed. T minus one minute. But oxygen and liquid hydrogen fill and drain valves are closed. Forty seconds, handing off to Atlantis's computers at T minus thirty-one, T minus thirty-five, thirty-three. Clock will hold at T minus thirty-one seconds due to a failure. And we have had a failure. Grand lock sequencer. Quick off three track switches. Park. T minus. Auto sequence start. And off to Atlantis's computers has occurred. Solid rocket booster nozzle steering check and work. Firing chain is armed. Fifteen. Go for main engine start. T minus ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. All three engines up and burning. Two. One. Zero. And lift off. The final lift off of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle. America will continue the dream. Roger roll, Atlantis. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. The space shuttle spreads its wings one final time for the start of a sentimental journey into history. 24 seconds into the flight, roll program complete. Atlantis now heads down, wings level on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. 40 seconds into the flight, Three liquid fuel main engines throttling back to 72% of rated performance in the bucket, reducing stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic for the final time. Engines now revving up, standing by for the throttle up call. Instrumentation only, no 